Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Masi. Uh, today is another beautiful day. I'm out in Harare, Zimbabwe and I'm getting to know the area so I'm walking. I google the place then I decide let me get the instructions as I had explained in my other video. So uh, my Kenyan line is not able to work here or rather I can't like uh, use like google maps. Uh, so I'm just gonna walk. So today the sun is out, that's why I've got my hat, it's too hot. Yeah, I always have my mask with me. I just remove it when I'm just recording. So today I'm going to a mall, it's known as Avondale. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> yes, so it's... Uh, so the mall I'm walking to today is like 3.8 kilometers away. Uh, 3.8 kilometers in miles, that would be about 2.3. Yeah, yes, 2.3 miles away. So I'm gonna walk there. I have my directions. Uh, and uh, I'm just gonna walk there. Yes, uh, uh, I walk as a way to exercise. I mean, I'm gonna have my exercise. I'm gonna get uh, a few steps in. Yeah, and then uh, I'm also getting to know Harare. <laughs> so I found Doset Road. And this is it. And I should be on it for like uh, 200 meters. And then I'll walk to my next street. So as I said, sometimes the downside of just deciding to walk and then in some places where the streets are not clearly labeled, this may not work. But uh, thank God, as I'm walking, okay, this street is not labeled, but like on the buildings, like, see that? So it's written. So I know I should take a... I was supposed to have taken a left here, so... And I'm gonna be on this road for 600 meters okay the journey continues so I've already done the 600 uh, meters so I'm supposed to take a right when I get to this junction and walk for like only 50 50 meters and then turn on to my next street I'm now on uh, King George Road this is the longest uh, street that I'm going to be on because I'm going to be walking on it for 1.4 kilometers. That's 0 0.87 miles. Yes. And then by the time I'm done with this, I'll almost be where I'm heading to. That's a guest lodge over there. This is St. Anne's Hospital. This is like a small shopping center with a coffee shop, a place you can have pizza, a place you can do your shopping and a gas I finally made it to the shopping mall. <laughs> Let's see uh, what the mall has. So on this side of the mall, there is a cafe, place where you can buy jewelry and even like a, a bakery. Unfortunately, I can't record inside. Yeah. On this side, there is dusk home, a place you can buy like things for your house. So it's on both sides there. And on this, there is a place, summer roses. Some more store. Uh, that's Edgar's. It's a clothing store. They have really nice clothes. And this is a food market. Uh, you can buy your groceries over there. So creamy in there. You can have ice cream. 
then over there that's a Nando's you can have burgers fries chicken this can have lunch or dinner so right now I'm in one of the supermarkets it's known as uh, Bon Marche Bon Marche yeah. Avondale in Avondale yes the, this area is known as Avondale yeah so here you find your drinks Oh, uh, this is a stationary area. And some more stuff. This section has the meat. like popcorn section uh, this is the juice section drink this is like rice what and then when you see something Kenyan you know that's that's our president to his uh, left that is uh, our Deputy President, right? Mm -hmm. And then that's Raila, or to his right, or rather my right. Uh, then this, that is salt, that is popcorn. Yeah. yeah and the meat still. And that's some pasta noodles. Uh, this is like what? Some spices. These are just for flavoring your food. This is the bakery and some cookies. So this is um, flour, right? That makes something that is um, Zimbabwe known as sadza. Yeah, it's like a Kenyan thing, like ugali. Ugali, yes. So in this section, you will find a lot of stuff, and uh, it's. It's named in uh, Zimbabwean <laughs> names. Yeah, some is like sorghum. The other one is like millet. Yeah. So, and uh, the other thing in Zimbabwe, uh, when you see these prices, so that is in Zimbabwean money. And uh, the money they use in Zimbabwe is Zimbabwe dollars. And uh, this is Tanganda tea. This is uh, equivalent of Kenya. This is like a tepa. You know, uh, the tea for the country. Yeah. Um, these are sweets like cookies. These are potatoes. Yes. Yeah. Potatoes. Irish potatoes. Yes. Yeah. Then these are butternut, watermelon. Yeah. Today is a sunny day. You can see. Yeah, oranges. Here we have cabbage. And then in the fridge section, peas, peppers. Yeah, and so much more apples, grapes. Yes can find lots and lots of stuff in this direction what we have we have yogurt I'm now on my way back and uh, so this is an Anglican church We have cast. 
San Mio. This is the restaurant. There's also another church over there. 